Okay. All right, so the first card we have is friendliness. This is in the position of how you Aries will might be thinking about this whole month of uh, July. So you guys might be thinking about what makes what's in harmony with you in your life. So you might be doing an analyzation, thinking about who are your real friends, what makes you feel happy, what makes you feel secure, um, the people, places, and things around you that have to do with harmony. And two things just, you know, equally getting along well together. Um, this could be friendships, um, where you live, your job, anything that has to do with harmony and getting along very well together. So you guys might be thinking about that if you're doing any analyzations this month about who's your friends, who, you know, what, what gets along with you, who doesn't, what type of things fit in your life. And the next card we have is moment to moment. And this is in the position of maybe what you'll be doing this month or how you'll be acting this month. And this is a great card. It is literally moment to moment. Um, this is somebody who is not too worried about their past. They're not too worried about their future. They're really just concentrating right here, right now in the moment. And that's the best thing to do to live sometimes right here, right now in that moment. It's not necessarily that we're ignoring our future, um, but it is that we are able to live in the moment happily, um, harmoniously, um, freely, without any kind of um, past relationships or past issues or you know anxieties about your future. So some of you guys are going to be really feeling well this month of July. Um, you may be really acting out in this way, just kind of, you know, going with the flow, living in, living in the moment, not uh, being too serious about your future or your, you know, not letting anything from your past uh, get in the way of how you are acting here and now. And that's, you know, that's the best time to get uh, clarity and to get things done in our lives is when we're feeling this way because, it's, you know, living in the moment is... I think that's what it's all about. Okay, so the next card we have is um, how you guys might be feeling this month. Um, some of you guys might be feeling a little um, disharmonious. You may be feeling like you don't have a partner in your life or somebody in your life that supports you in a very harmon harmonious way, peacefully, um, easygoing, um, loving, caring. So you guys might be feeling a little bit disharmonious in your life. Um, or you may be feeling, again, like well, you do have this friendliness card and it's saying, you know, this is all about what is friendly in your, who is, who is, who is for you in your life? Um, what is harmonious in your life? What's, what's, uh, who's in your life and who's helping you in your life? So maybe, you know, because this is in the position of what you guys are thinking, um, and this is how you're feeling. So there might be some kind of, um, pe some people in your life or situation in your life this month that you may be feeling like get getting rid of, or you may be feeling like bringing somebody back into your life or a situation back into your life or people into your life that actually are in favor with you. All right. So the next card we have is the past, excuse me, past lives. So this is the outcome card. Um, this is what we have for outcome for these four cards. Um, this is saying, you know, there's things maybe in your past that are coming back this month that you may need to relook at or a situation or a person from your past, something from your past, um, past lives. Um, so yeah, it kind of goes well with this, you know, maybe somebody is coming back into your life and you're really analyzing to make sure that this person or situation is going to be equal to your friendship, that what you give is what you're going to get back, that you in this situation or person together will bring harmony. Um, but I do see this card in the, um, you know, it's in the reverse position. And this was in about how you're feeling. So you may be feeling a little bit disharmony with uh, a situation. So maybe there is something coming in from to you from your past that is going to make you have to analyze a situation. Um, in regards to, you know, you rethinking somebody or something to make sure that it is something that it's going to flow with you and it's going to be 
in your best interest and it's going to be something that's going to work for you. So it's really good to really analyze people, places and things this week or this month um, to really see if it's something that is going to be good for you. Um, if not, it's, it's, it, the something is coming in from the past for you, Aries, because it is something that you need to address. It's something that you need to rehash or redo again, um, maybe the right way this time so you can let it go so you can live in the moment, um, opposed to maybe holding on to something that wasn't resolved from the past. Maybe that's why it's coming back now because it is something that maybe you do need to address, um, in a different way. It's a different time now, um, and maybe it's something you need to let go of or continue on with in a new way. So either way, I do see you guys being able to clear some things from your life, from the past, not worry so much about your future, but being okay with who you are in this moment. Who you are is enough. Who you are and what you have is enough right now to be satisfied in your life. Um, not that you don't want more in your life. You might, of course, we all do, right? But you're satisfied with who you are and what you have right now, right here, right now. And you're really able to live here in this moment. Okay, Aries, let's get into your main reading here. And one of the cards we have, this was at the card at the bottom of the deck, and it's the four of pentacles in reverse. So it's telling me that maybe this month of July, some of you Aries will be overly um, conscious, overly protective, overly guarded, and overly uh, saving, saving your money, your possessions, your time, your heart, your uh, giving to others. You might be very, 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 very um, cautious again over this money or savings of some sort because it seems like you guys might be a little bit paranoid about not paranoid but very conscious about you know your foundation your solid foundation being grounded being um solid in your life and you don't want anybody to take that from you and i don't blame you i don't i wouldn't either right so it's either you or somebody else that's going to be very very guarded um they may not be you know they be they may, may be saving everything as far as money, time, effort, uh, emotions, you might be really, really guarded with that. Okay, so the main card we have is the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the Queen of Wands is here, and this is in the center of your reading. This is the main energy, the significant energy for this month of July. Now, this could be a male or female. This is a fire sign. This is a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So this could be you, Aries. This could be you. You could be acting this month on your game. But grounded and you're grounded, um, confident, uh, passionate, um, successful, ready, willing, and taking action towards success and those things in life that you want and you're going for it. And the card that we have for what is possibly crossing you, what is possibly an obstacle this month or a block, we have the moon card. And the moon card is here to say maybe there are some things in your life right now that you do need to clear up or you may be getting some you know some great clarity this month so in the month of July you might be getting some real clarity that may be leading you on a different path on your better path or, or a, a, a your actual life path um, a new path a life path um, a new job a new uh, anything um, you guys may be moving towards a very very new uh, you know way um, and again, I'm coupling it with this, you know, moment to moment. And maybe you are, maybe you guys are really going to be following a path this month of July, a new one. Um, it's something might be revealed to you that will help you take that path who will, that will help you and guide you and lead you towards, um, your heart's desire. And, you know, coupled with this action card here, you air, uh, you Aries, you know, being successful, confident and moving forward, you guys are really, really um, seeming to be grounded and ready to, to be successful and move forward. This also could be a cancer. This is a water sign. It could be, this is, it could also be a person that is a cancer in your life. If you guys are dealing with a cancer, this person may be um, in your life this month. In your recent past, we have the five of pentacles. So maybe some of you guys currently or the very recent past, um, you lost your job, 
lost some money, um, were, were in a relationship situation that dropped you or you dropped it and it's really left you, it left you alone and feeling as if you were kind of completely just shut out. So this is you or somebody else that is in your recent past. Um, somebody was feeling, you know, alone kind of by themselves and, um, just left, left, left in the cold. And the next card we have is the King of Wands. This is in the position, Aries, for what it is that you want this month, but you don't have this right now. This is something that you're striving for, something that you want. So it looks like you guys might be wanting to not accept or go forth in some kind of situation. Or you guys are wanting um, a person, you or somebody else, to come forward, to take action, maybe to, to go with you on a path, you know, on a journey, um, in your life. Maybe you want to move forward with somebody in your life right now. Um, who's also a fire sign, uh, an air sign, I'm sorry, fire sign, an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. This is an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. So you guys might be wanting somebody to come towards you and communicate with you and have passion and passion with you. But right now at this point, this person does not have a lot of passion. They don't have a lot of forward movement. They're a little bit stubborn, not really taking any action or moving forward. So if this is you, Aries, you may be feeling this way and you may be wanting to feel upright. You may be wanting to feel passionate and um, motivated and, you know, your typical, normal, wonderful self um, or somebody else. But I do see in the center of your reading, we already have this card that says, you know, you are confident taking action and moving forward this month. And the next card we have is what's coming towards you right now. Currently, um, it's the, it's the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles we have here. This could be a male or female. This is a earth sign. This is a, um, let's see, it could be a Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus. This is somebody who is taking an extremely long time, a long journey, and they're still taking, they're not moving forward. They're just taking a very long time. This is somebody who is, has lost something. Maybe they lost a offer. They didn't accept an offer or they lost money or lost focus towards something. And therefore they're really not taking forward movement or they're taking way, way, way too long because they're not they're not being focused right now on one thing. Therefore, they're not moving forward. They're kind of just staying where they're at or they're just, you know, um, distracted. So this could be somebody in your life that is very distracted. They're not focused. Um, they're taking their time. Maybe they, maybe this person lost, uh, maybe they lost some money, a bad, uh, some kind of bad money choice possibly. The next card we have for you, Aries, is the Judgment card. This is in the position for what is coming in for you, Aries. This is for you. This is the Judgment card. You may be getting an awakening, like a new, um, profound new vision, a new perspective, a new awareness, um, a second chance in life or a second chance in something or, you know, um, being born again, kind of like, you know, coming up through what you've been through in your life and starting something new, um, getting a second chance, doing things differently this time, um, doing things in a more mature way with a new perspective and a new understanding. So it's really good because it's going in this, you know, if it's with, if this is you guys, uh, this queen of wands, you are going to be taking action and doing things and you're going to be very successful at it. The next card we have is the two of cups in reverse. The two of cups is in reverse and it's in the position of your, how your attitude is towards your situation right now, what really matters right now. And it seems as though you do not want a relationship with somebody. Um, it's, you, you may not have the love or the, the, um, emotions, um, for a, a person, some, you know, for a person or a relationship in your life, you may be broken up with somebody there may, you know, this is this, you may be feeling 
basically you might be feeling like you don't want a commitment with something, somebody or some situation in your life. You just don't want a, a, a renewal. You don't want a commitment. You don't want to open your heart up or, um, offer any, you know, emotions. And it is cup, you know, we have this card here, the four uh, pentacles in reverse. And this is somebody, um, kind of also who doesn't really want to open up, share. This person doesn't want to share. They don't want to open up if this has to do with emotions, but this card does mean quite a few things. Like I said earlier, it could be money, quite a bit of things. Um, it could be emotions too. So you might be really guarded, not wanting to open up, not wanting a commitment, not wanting a relationship at this point. Um, or somebody may be feeling like this towards you. Somebody who recently was left out in the cold in the past. So if this was you, you're still looking at your situation as if maybe, you know, um, you're feeling the lack of love. You're feeling the lack of a commitment with somebody. Um, or somebody wants a reconciliation with you. Somebody might be coming back into your life wanting a second chance because we have the judgment card here. If it has to do with love or a relationship, it could have to do with a second chance, somebody wanting a second chance, but somebody not accepting this new second uh, chance. Um, but you guys are not wanting this person or commitment. You know, you might be seeing things in a new way and that's why maybe you don't want to um, have a commitment with somebody or somebody doesn't want to have a commitment with you because maybe you've changed. Maybe you're a different person now and you're seeing things for a different, uh, in a new light, in a new mature way. And maybe they haven't caught up with you yet. Maybe their level of um, consciousness or perception hasn't, you know, caught up with you yet. The next card we have is the four of swords in reverse. So this is in the position of your home, your environment, people around you, the influences of people um, around you. And it looks like somebody's really, um, somebody might have a lot of anxiety. They're, they might be really uh, torturing themselves, working too hard at something, um, thinking too much. And they might be a little bit exhausted or um, needing a break. This person might be a little bit. So whoever's around you or in your environment might be a little hectic on their end. They may be very hectic in their lives and they may be, um, they do need to take some time off from the situation, whether that be from you or they need a separation, a break from um a situation that has to do with the home environment or somebody around you. Somebody does need to take a break because they're just too overly stressed out. And once we take a break um, and come back, things are a lot better, right? Sometimes we just, we have to force ourselves to take a break. You know, sometimes we don't want to take a break or we don't really realize we are stressed out, but somebody around you does need to take a break. They do need to take some time away. And the next card we have is the Page of Swords. This is in the position for you, Aries, of what it is that you hope and fear right now. So I think some of you want to have some kind of communication with somebody in your life. This could be, um, this could be a person, this could be somebody that's coming in. Uh, you might be a friend. It could be gossip. It could be social media. It could be anything, but it does look like, like there is some kind of communication that might be coming in for you guys this month. And, uh, somebody might want to communicate with you. They want to be honest. They want to speak their truth. Um, they want to, they want to tell you something, um, give you some information. And this person, um, does speak the truth, but they may come across a little bit immature. The next card we have is the three of pentacles. Wow. This is your outcome. So Aries, your outcome is harmo harmony. This is a harmony card to me. Um, it's very similar to the friendliness card and the fact that it's harmonious. It's friendship. It's equal. It's uh, very good, good to be around. This is something, a project, you might be working with, um, some people on a project. You might be working alone on an apprenticeship, starting something new, a project, 
um, creating something, wanting to create something, and it might bring you very good success and um, financial reward. This could be financial reward. You guys could be um, starting something new that's really going to bring you some uh, achievement. Something might be coming in. So if you did lose your job in the past, I see by the end of this month, you guys are going to be starting something new. And you have the judgment card here, which is really in your favor. So you might be starting um, a new business, a new relationship of some sort that has to do with business, uh, money, finances, and or a project. But it's really positive, you guys. All right. So that is your reading for this month of July. I hope it resonated with you guys. Leave a message, comment. Let me know how it does uh, resonate with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull another card from, I'm going to pull, I'm going to be pulling a card from Doreen Virtue for your message. What is the message for Aries? What is the message or advice for Aries this month of July? Festa, the home card. It says, your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. There you go. Some of you guys are definitely making a change in your home life and uh, making some major changes. That's great. All right, I'm going to pull another card for my Aries, my lovely Aries. Okay, let's see what we have. And this is my deck. I love this deck. Alan Fairchild. Alana, excuse me. I think it's Alana. I keep saying Alan. It's A-L-A-N-A -A -A, Fairchild. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's no message coming for you. What is the message for Aries for this month of July? You know, it's weird because I told myself I was going to start shuffling this deck. It's a little big. Um... But lately, I've been needing to shuffle this deck because I usually, they're so large, you know, they're just a little bit hard to shuffle. So let's try this again. There we go. You needed a shuffle. Okay. So you guys got the card number 44. And it says... Visions of life beyond death. Visions of life beyond death. And again, it's number 44, and I'm going to read this to you guys. Sacred vision is, is awakening within you. You are becoming blessed with the ability to truly see, to see what is really real rather than what appears to be. This is true insight. What was once considered consequential may soon be found to hold little consequences after all. What was once dismissed as an irritation or irrelevance may be seen to have great spiritual significance. As mundane as something once appeared it could now could be, now be worth absolute attention. The gift of genuine vision takes you into the, the being of the universal creator. This is a sacred terrain be, beyond logic, convention, and that which is limited in, in any way. The more open you are to receiving true vision, the more love you will find and recognize within you and around you. Something may appear to change form, to be shed, to be lost, or to die, but there is love within, within all of it. This realization doesn't remove the pain of the loss. It does provide a way through which we can be healed and eventually transform into peace. Wow, that's fantastic, you guys. So some of you guys may be moving out of a home, um, maybe away from something that was not friendly, that was not harmonious with you. So you guys might be leaving behind your past. Maybe you broke up or there was something in your life already, of course, that happened 
you know, months ago or last month or a couple months ago. And now is the month that you're really going to be moving on and you're going to be able to physically move on. If you're moving homes or, you know, your foundation, your stability, your home, a relationship, um, a friend, maybe this relationship was your best friend as well, but you can't be friends anymore. Um, you guys are going to be living moment in, you'll be able to live right now and, um, function and, um, move forward in the moment. This is so beautiful. So a lot of you Aries are going to be dealing with past issues that are now coming up, um, to finalize something, uh, to, so you can move forward into a new, um, a new way of being a new path in your life. You know, for those of you Aries that are moving on to a brand new beginning, a brand new path, uh, living now in the moment, um, starting a new project, even a new job, a new beginning in work or a business, um, taking that forward action and becoming very successful. 